So welcome back to another video at GDB Rescue and Recovery. Today's project is going to be upgrading the roof beacons on the original mobile tyre van. As you know, she's old on the back at the moment with it being an X5 vehicle. It's the old style beacon, so we're going to upgrade it with some new LED flashes like the other mobile tyre van, just getting a new engine installed as we speak. Um, but before we go into that, how about we have a little rewind and go back to a few clips from earlier on in the week at GDB. enjoyed the new intro it definitely gives it that little tweak that it needed just to put it out there I ain't got my seatbelt on because I ain't got seatbelts she's seatbelt exempt okay now I've seen a lot of comments of people saying stop asking for likes and subscribes don't like but look I don't ask you to follow my channel I'm not demanding you to follow my channel but if you like what you see like and subscribe if you don't don't <coughs> watch my videos doesn't bother me, okay? Now, a lot of other you have been saying you're a YouTuber and all that stuff. It's like, how much money do you make? Well, I'm still going to work, and I? I ain't earning that much off it, let's be honest. Do you want to know how much I earned in September off my YouTube videos? Do you want to know how much? I didn't even earn a £20 note. It was like £18 and something P. So, look, I ain't killing it. I ain't smashing it on the money like KSI on YouTube. I'm just still doing my job making a living and documenting my videos but seriously if you don't like the channel don't fucking watch it okay simple as that because it don't make any difference to me the end right moving forwards we are in the daft 80 ton accident unit got my gopro osmo action mount on my chest got my pink youtube high viz on we are going out to an rtc of a bmw x3 in Wheat and Aston, just outside of Stafford, within the Staffordshire border. Unfortunately, the customer that's rang us for our urgent services, he's gone into the back of someone, but he's absolutely fine, he's not injured, and the other party are absolutely fine. They're there just chatting away, so nobody's injured, and they're getting on with each other, which is always good news. But sometimes, when you're in the back of somebody, they aren't always the best to please, like me when I was in my accident with that. <laughs> so, yeah, at least they're getting on, they're talking, happy as Larry. I did ask if they wanted another vehicle to go out and recover the gentleman in front, but no, they're absolutely fine and sorted. So, flying out there now at the speed of sound in the DAF at 56 miles an hour on the M6, currently going between junctions 13 and 12 on the southbound. I have also mounted my other camera in a new position. So hopefully it will give a little bit of a better angle of the job in hand. Now, I have asked the customer, does it roll in steer still? <laughs> All four wheels are locked up, so I've already got my mallet, I've got my four slippy gyms, got my hooks at the ready, it's gonna be a straight. All the equipment's there that I need in my passenger foot well. Apparently he said it's blocking a little bit of the road. Then I'm gonna have to pause the clip, I've now got a tire inquiry coming in. <laughs> got to recover this car blocking the road. Um, so ring me, no, so drop me a text message and I'll ring you straight back, mate. Okay. Cheers, thanks. Cheers. Bye bye. Uh... Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> uh... oh, what I'll do, I ain't got enough room to get in there with the bed down. I'm just going to turn myself around in there and I'll load it on backwards. <laughs> For that one, yeah, give me a minute. Give me a minute.
Be as quick as I can. Do you know if it still steers left and right or not? No, idea. no? okay. Yeah, okay, I'll have a go in a minute. Yeah, to steer it, fair enough. Summit or other are. Ah, lifesavers, all I call them. So, yeah, it's only the back wheels, the front ones seem to be rolling.
<coughs> the front ones roll freely enough on there. <coughs> I won't complain anyway. <laughs> Is it rear wheel? Yeah. GDB Hello GDB recovery Hello there mate, I think I spoke to you about 10 minutes ago about my tyre Possibly, what area are you in? Oh, there's no salt uh, Yeah, you'll have to give a ring back in about an hour's time mate, we've got quite a bit on it at the minute I'm going to be struggling at the minute mate, I've got about seven jobs waiting um, So all I can say is ring back in an hour and I'll see if I've got time to book you on or not Right, okay then mate, alright, thanks so much mate Have you got all your belongings out of this vehicle? Yeah, I think so. Everything out of it, yeah? I'll just pull up behind this BMW, I just need to go for some detail with you, all right?
So that was a recovery of a BMW X3. Um, it must not be a four wheel drive because the front wheels are rolling absolutely beautiful. So I will take that any day of the week. If it was four wheel drive, well it was rolling freely enough for me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that one, that was just a, literally a quick get it on and get out of the way to let the vehicles pass as we were obviously blocking traffic. Um, and yeah, that's it really. I've just booked two other jobs on whilst I've just been sat there for about 20 minutes. Uh, but I've parked up out the way allowing vehicles to pass. So we've got a tyre job on now in Sandbach, not at the services, just a little bit further up the road off that motorway bridge at Junction 17. First exit left is a petrol station there, I've got one there. When I get back from there, I've then got another tyre job, which is in Chebsey Stafford to supply, well, no, to fit and balance their customers' own brand new tyre. Don't normally do it if it's a part worn, but it is brand new. They said it's still got the sticky label on, so there's no reason for it not to fit. If you indicated earlier, it would have made our life that a little bit easier. Yo, yo! <laughs> hey, yo! Just flying out now at the speed of sound in the Nissan Navara Speckliff. Got an urgent RTC on in Rugeley, Staffordshire. Unfortunately, we've got an elderly couple and they've got front end damage on their vehicle and a flat tire, that is all I know. Police are on scene and need this vehicle moved urgently. So I'm going out as quick as I can and let's go and get it shifted. Thanks for watching. Okay, we are nearly arriving on scene, which is, I believe, Globe Island in Rugeley. Don't know exactly the location. They just said they're very near the bus station and the calls in traffic and the police are there. Don't know if you can see anything. I've got my chest mount on. Camera is also on the rear of the Nissan Navara to capture a little bit of the action. Hopefully you all enjoy it. Off green, oh, I hope they've not took my one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, maybe he's got a Citroen. That may be one that is involved as well, I don't know. We'll soon find out. Where are we, where are we, where are we? But he didn't have any straps on the driver's side. Right, well, the bus station is on the left of here. So, yes, there it is. Okie dokie. And we've got a chap in orange, are oh, you? Yeah. Right, let's inspect it. Oh. Hello, are oh, you? Yeah. This be the one that I'm here for, I'm guessing. Oh dear, dear, dear. Is everybody out all right? Yeah? yeah all good? Up. Right, no worries. Have you got the key for it? Or is it still inside? It's still inside. Still inside, that's fine, no worries. If I can get your good lady out and I'll get this up and loaded as quick as I can for you. Nothing else on there, is there? <laughs> Did you want me to take you back to your home address, the garage asked, or...? Oh, right, wicked, perfect, absolutely fine. But yeah, just make sure you've got all your main belongings, medicines, laptops, phones, monies. It doesn't look very uh, old behind here, it looks pretty pretty new. He made a good job of it. Oh, oh, done a proper job. <laughs> done a good job of it, good job. <laughs> right, I'll just stick these on here. That's the best part, that's better on there. Not very flat here, it's on that bit. That's got it, perfect. Uh, we're on behalf of Body Matters in Stafford, yeah, so we've just been instructed, come pick it up, take it straight to them, and that's it. So any of the dealings, conversation you need, just ring up Market Body Matters in Stafford. That's fine. Perfect. Uh, they're up on the Tollgate Industrial Estate in Stafford, if you know the one. Near the ambulance uh, station, just opposite there, basically. 
Uh, but they've got the Hyundai contract anyway and the Kia one and stuff, so they do all the bodywork for all the vehicles around here anyway, for Hyundais and Kias. I'm just going to push this backwards a little bit just so I can get in front of it, so just mind your feet. Mobile tyres. Well, yeah, we are mobile tyres. We are mobile tyres. Pardon? Yes, we are mobile tyres. If you want mobile, it says it's in it. Uh, yeah, so you'd be on a standard motorway call out at 150 plus VAT. All you'd pay on top would be your new tyre price only. And that's for service around one hour. No worries, Char, mate. Did you want your visor out of here? Did you want the visor? Your shield, your mask. Thank you. Beautiful, no worries. Thank you very much. I don't think there, but... No. Cool. To be, it'll be repairable. This will be repairable anyway. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So. No, it looks worse than it is when the bumper's off, but the bumper looks in pretty good shape as well. So I'm just going to pop that in the back of here anyway. So, yeah. so no, don't stress yourself too much. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, it's just I'm just trying to get it in at the minute. Just bear with me. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. That beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, all right. right, that's it. Right, I'll be out your way. Thank you very much. No worries. See you later. So that was a quick lift and shift of a little Hyundai i10 accident damaged, uh, quite light damage, obviously it looks worse than it is when the front bumper is missing obviously, but that was in pretty good shape as well, so how the bumpers come off I don't really know, but it doesn't look as bad as it seems. Uh, roll steer is okay, you know I can still push it with the one little flat tyre on the front, so pretty minor. Nissan Navara, perfectly perfect, perfect vehicle for doing those type of jobs, easy light accident work rather than winching onto a truck. Um, and onto slide beds, beaver tails and whatnot. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you don't enjoy it, don't watch the channel. Thanks for watching. advanced piece of paper. So I'll have to take the lid off. locators there we are got to make sure that's still centre with that I've got my my tape measure it's only to be a guesstimate but half and six half and six uh, not quite half arm now. Mm, that's the one there, bird.
do just for now whilst we find some bolts bird. See if we've got enough length on the other end, eh, Jimmy? It's called little actor's hole, you see. That's perfect. Another job well done. <laughs> yep. Yep. So if I let go of the blue on the black, back on right, that's it. That's good. And that means the other green that I've got left is probably an external supply for another button inside there which I can probably use for the rear spots, so that's a bonus. So now I can lose all of this wire and shorten it, but we have got to do first, we've got to change the pattern. So let me just temporarily hook this up, man. Now I think if that green goes to the red, it changes pattern. That's it! That one's quite cool. I'm gonna have to use. I have to make up a new cable to run that distance. I think. I don't know. Ooh, it's gonna be close, isn't it? It's gonna be close. That's it. Look at that. Oh my god. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off and then turn it back on. So, for next time on the mobile tyre van, we will be installing these, which are from Chris at Commercial Vehicle Products in Tamworth. The LAP S279 LED work lamps. So, the idea is for these to have them mounted on the tyre van. One will be up there. And then the other one probably be somewhere further up. And I have got two more as well, which I think if I can fit them nicely without obscuring the beacon, I'll have one there and one there. Just to give a little bit more a little bit more light whilst working to be honest with you. Um, it does lack light to be honest that tire van, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do have to use a little handheld light when I'm walking around, so I think that might just take the edge off at night time and make us see that little bit more. So that is the roof beacons finally on the old Ford Transit tyre van. Uh, a lot of you have asked, how is the other van doing? Well, thanks for showing your concerns for her. Uh, she's nearly breathing, the engine is in, just being bolted back together and it's gonna have uh, some new brake lines and handbrake cables, rear brakes and front brakes as well. So just wanna get it all done, completely boxed off. But most important, this van, she's now flashing better than ever. Um, and yeah, hope you're getting on a few jobs later on today. If you do like what you see on the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content at GDB. Ah, uh, you're ringing the wrong. Uh, you're ringing the wrong people. This is the mobile tyre business, I'm afraid. So your details are incorrect. Oh, he's holding Congo. <laughs> this is one of the world's most magnificent, magnificent creatures on earth. Here we have the thick as fuck pigeon. Wouldn't let him fucking weld or solder near my car. No, I wouldn't either, to be quite honest. What else? Don't know what else to say.
How are you finding your new LED lights? You failed an MOT yet? Yeah. <laughs>